Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a collab with some of the ladies from the YouTube Mommy Meetup group. Now this is a collab that was organized by Rachel from Day to Day Joys. I will link her channel below and also a playlist so you can watch all of the other ladies do this video today. Today we're gonna to be talking about our top five kitchen gadgets. And this was actually really, really hard. I sold a Pampered Chef back before we had kids, and I will forever, forever sing the praises of that company. I loved selling for them. Um, if I were to go back and do direct sales again, I'm not planning on it ever, but if I were to, to go back to direct sales, I would totally go back to Pampered Chef 100%. Uh, I loved selling their products and actually several years ago, like four years ago, maybe uh, three or four years ago, I did a video on my favorite Pampered Chef products and I will link that up here if you would like to watch that. I'm going to go ahead and show you the things that I narrowed this down to. This is my first one and I tried to not have all Pampered Chef products, but most of my kitchen is Pampered Chef anyway. Um, but that was hard so the first thing is this mix and chop this is from pampered chef and you'll see there's kind of a trend here i like things that multitask i don't like just single use things i mean some things are fun but i like products that multitask and the mix and chop is awesome it's it's safe for non-stick cookware it's like this um i don't really even know how to describe it. almost like a little pinwheel and it has these beveled edges here on the side and this is mostly for like your ground beef and your ground turkey. You know, if you're trying to break it up in the pan with a wooden spoon, it's hard to get it really broken up. This, super easy. You just pound your ground beef into your pan and it works great. But it's not just for ground beef. I've made mashed potatoes with this. I've used this as a, like a potato masher. I have made banana bread with this while I'm mashing up my bananas it works like a dream. So I cannot say enough about this mix and shop. The next thing would be something that I got last year for Christmas and it's this digital meat thermometer. It's the Taylor brand and I think Mike just got it at the grocery store. I don't know, but I asked for a digital meat thermometer with like a long cord on it <laughs> because like if I have some sort of a meat in the oven or in the crock pot, and I know that it's getting up to temperature really soon, but I don't wanna be constantly taking this in and out. What I can do is set this, even adjust here. I can set this on the counter and stick this in the, um, like the chicken or the whatever in the oven and there's this long cord so i can just set this out on the counter and this will actually beep when it is up to a certain temperature you can set it like i want this to beep when my chicken gets to 165 or whatever whatever you're cooking so i really love this thing it's super simple it was probably five or six dollars and i mean but it's so so helpful the third thing is another Pampered Chef item. This is my quick stir pitcher. You may have seen this in my cold brew coffee recipe, but this is great. Um, I mean, it's kind of, it kind of speaks for itself. I have my cold brew in here right now, but um, it's got this plunger down in it. And this is the two quart and they make, I think it's a four quart. It's a really big one. I have that, but I just don't have a need for something that big right now, maybe when my boys are older, but I use this mostly for my cold brew coffee so I can just kind of mix this. Or like if you like to take those, the frozen juice drinks that come in the can and make your juice hey, mommy. out of that. Hi. Okay, so I, I love this picture. It's, it's great for um, like if you're making some sort of a punch for a party, mommy. just keep that in here and every time you need to mix it up, mommy, just do mommy. this. What? And my last two are kind of big things. I actually didn't bring them in here, so I'll insert a little video here. But I was a little hesitant to jump on the Instant Pot bandwagon, especially at $100. It seemed like kind of a, a big thing when I already have a crock pot, and I love my crock pot. Now, if I were doing this video three months ago, my crock pot would have definitely been in my top five, and I would probably say it's it's, it's definitely maybe my top six. If I were to add one, it would probably be my crock pot. But I went to Aldi and got the um, 
let me see if I can get this right, the Ambiano Digital Pressure Cooker, which is basically the same thing. And Ambiano, I've done a couple reviews of Ambiano products on my channel before. You know I love Aldi. I absolutely love it. And this was only $39.99. Now, when I go online and find all these Instant Pot recipes, I do have to kind of play around with it because the buttons are a little bit different, but I've been able to make it work amazing. I've put frozen fish in there, of course, with some water and seasonings and stuff. And I think the frozen fish from frozen to ready was like 18 minutes. And that's cooking time. Sometimes it takes like five to eight minutes for the pressure cooker to come hey, up to Mom. pressure. And then a few minutes to like bring the pressure down so that you no. can eat it. I've done soups in like 17 minutes. That would take all day in the crock pot. It takes me like, like I said, 15 to 17 minutes depending on the soup from start to finish. So super happy with that purchase. If you have an Aldi near you, go and check it out and just pick one up if you're instant pot curious go ahead and pick one up and see what you think the last thing on my list is my KitchenAid mixer I wanted this for so many years and I told Mike I really want a KitchenAid mixer I don't want a Sunbeam I don't want a, a you know another brand I want a KitchenAid mixer and I want to say it was 2010 or 2011 and it was Christmas and it was my like my big gift from Mike and he gave me a KitchenAid mixer and I was so happy. I love this thing so much and it comes with all these great attachments. The only attachments I have are the ones that actually come with the mixer except for one and I'm, I'll show you this right here. Um, it's a, uh, a paddle attachment with a silicone on the side and so it scrapes the bowl as it goes around. So if you get a KitchenAid mixer, go ahead and get that attachment too. It's totally worth it. And I've used this thing for so many different, I mean, cakes, muffins, when I've made my butter, I made butter on my channel before, uh, I made coconut milk one time with it. I mean, it makes all sorts of things. And I think, personally, I think it is worth every single penny that you'll spend on it. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. Please be sure to give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you are new here, welcome. Please be sure to hit that red subscribe button below if you would like to see all the videos that I have coming your way soon. And of course, be sure to check out all the other ladies participating in this collab today. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.